Just get a good idea. Pat, what did you learn about your pitching staff in that ACC tournament? I mean, eight runs in 27 innings, that's pretty yeah. solid. Yeah, you know, I, I, really the second half of the season, we, we've had had our games, obviously, where I don't feel like we've thrown real well, but there's a lot more of them where I was pretty happy with what we were getting on the second half of the year. I'm happy with with what Goose and Crown have given us, extremely competitive one, two. And Clay had been coming on the last couple of starts, kind of showing flashes that he might be putting something together. Made some changes in his arm slot, made some changes in the way he was delivering the ball, and it kind of clicked with him. And to see him kind of emerge right there on, on a big stage, I think, was huge for us. You know, just as confident with Zach Irwin. I feel great about Zach. It was really good. We, we, the reason why we made that decision so late the night of the Miami game was because I really felt that confidence with Zach. It wasn't that we weren't feeling Clay. It's just Zach is right there with me. So kind of that group emerging, I think, is, is I feel good about it. Crownover and Goose have kind of flip-flopped. Yeah. When Goose missed that start, and Crownover's right. been the Friday guy. I mean, is right. any reason to think that'll change? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that could certainly change. It's going to be all about the matchup now between righty and left. I'm going to take a look at the numbers after we get done with uh, batting practice today. Start to formulate a plan and sit down with Coach and, and put together what I think my plan is and just run it by him so we see if he likes it. But it could, it could certainly flip-flop. So basically you're not giving anything away, huh? Um, you know what, honestly, I honestly don't know enough about, you know, we just had the regional unveiled, so I want to see who hits righties, I want to see who bunts more, I want to see, you know, who's the best matchup, because while they're both extremely effective, they're very different brands of pitching, you know, so I just want to see which one I think is better. Either way, it's nice having those yeah. two kind of number one Yeah, guys you don't ever feel bad around. about either one of them. They pound the zone, they work quick. And they supremely believe in what they do, which I think comes out. And it kind of believes in the rest of our team. So, yeah. the, the bullpen will have to get a little more involved than it did in Greensboro if yeah. you're going to go a ways. I mean, yeah. I mean what's the outlook there? Uh, I think the outlook is good. You know, I think I think getting uh, Clay Schmidt to step up um, gives us more innings. How we use that, I don't know. But uh, And then having Zach. Zach was ready to go. You know, I, I think we would have felt good if we had to use Zach in the championship game which was maybe in the back of our head. I felt great about that option. And uh, so between those guys right there, you've got some good length. And then in the back right now, we're going Moyer, Bates, and Campbell. So we're just trying to get the game to the 7th, 8th, and ninth, and we feel good about that. So I think, you know, it took longer than what we wanted to, but right after Florida State Series, I thought we saw people start dropping in the slots and, and pitching go a little cleaner. Appreciate it, Pat. Yeah.